So in this video, we are going to learn how to send Slack channel messages for new Google Ads campaign. So if you're running some Google Ads and you keep on creating new campaign for your business, this automation is going to help you a lot to update your team members. So using this automation, whenever we are going to create a new campaign in our Google Ads account, automatically the details of that newly created campaign will be shared as a message on our Slack channel with our team members. In this way, you don't have to manually create a campaign and after that share that campaign details or updates with your team members on Slack. So to know how you can set up this automation, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your pre public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Ads to Slack. And then just click on Create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Google Ads account with Pavli Connect in the trigger window so that every time a new campaign is created in Google Ads, automatically the details of that newly created campaign will be received inside Public Connect. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those new campaign details on our Slack channel to update our team members for that as well. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window, in Choose App, search for Google Ads. Just select it. And then in Trigger Event from this drop-down, select New Campaign as a trigger event. Just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Ads account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Google Ads button. And then we have to enter the customer ID of our Google Ads account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this customer ID. So to get it, just go to your Google Ads account. And on this right top corner, here you can see the customer ID of your Google Ads account. Just copy this ID from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And then we just have to remove this hyphens from this ID over here. After entering it, just click on save. Now when we click on save, here you can see that now we have to connect our Google account, the Google Ads account. So here I have already logged into my this Google Ads account. So I'm selecting this account over here. Then just scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Google Ads account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is to use Google Ads account, like use as of which user we want to use this Google Ads account. So here in this drop down, you can see right now in my Google Ads account, I have only one user named as Pavli account. So we are selecting that particular account, select manager ID over here, that particular manager ID over here. Then we have to select the customer ID that if in your Google Ads account, it is most likely possible that you might have added multiple customers or multiple accounts over there. So in this dropdown, you will see a list of all of those accounts over here. So from this dropdown, we have to select that customer ID over here. After selecting the customer ID, the manage account from which you want to get the new campaign details, when you will click on the save and send test request button, automatically the details of the last campaign the most recent campaign which was created in a Google Ads account, details of that campaign will be received inside Pavli Connect. So here let's click on this save and send test request button. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. Now in this response, you will see the details of the last campaign, the most recent campaign which was created. So here we will scroll down and here you can see all the details of the campaign. Like the campaign status right now is paused then we will scroll down here. You can see the targeting. We are targeting the audience using this campaign. Then here you can see that we can see some other details over here as well. The payment mode was clicks. Then we will scroll down further. Here you can see the campaign ID. You can see the name of the campaign as well. Then we will scroll down further. Here you can see the campaign end date. What is the end date? And here you can see the start date as well. Like at what date we have started this campaign. 
then you can see some other details too like the status and the optimization status as well. So in this way, whenever a new campaign will be created in our Google Ads account, all of these details of a new campaign will be received inside Powerly Connect. And after this guys, here you can see that the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the details of a campaign from our Google Ads account inside Powerly Connect. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we are going to send the same new campaign details which we have received from Google Ads as a message on our Slack. So that using this automation, whenever a new campaign will be created in Google Ads, automatically a message with the same campaign details will be sent on our Slack channel. So to send these campaign details on Slack, we will just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Slack. Just select it. After selecting Slack, in action event from this drop down, select send channel message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Slack account with Powerly Connect. So to make this connection, just click on this connect with Slack button. And then here while connecting our Slack account with Powerly Connect, we have two different types of token. Either we can create a user based token, a user based connection or a bot based connection. So what is the difference between a user based token or a bot based token? To know this here in this help text, you can see this hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to a new page on our forum. And here at this page, you can see a complete difference between a user based token and a bot based token. Right now, I'm just going to create a user based token. So I'm writing user over here and click on save. After clicking on save, here you can see that I have already logged into my Slack account in my browser. So that is why Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us for the authorization permission. Just click on allow and then we will see our Slack account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the channel. So in this drop down here, you can see a list of all the channels which we have created in our Slack account. Out of all of this, you have to select the channel on which you want to send the new campaign details as a message. So I have created a channel named as Google Ads Campaigns. So here guys, I have selected that particular channel from this drop down. After selecting the channel, the next thing it asks us is the message that what is the message I want to send on my Slack channel whenever a new campaign is created in Google Ads. So I want my message to be hello team created a new campaign Google Ads campaign name start date and date campaign status and optimization status. Okay, so this is the kind of message we want to send on our Slack channel with the details of the new campaign which we have created in Google Ads campaign. So here guys, what we have to do in this message, we have added these fields of campaign details like campaign name, start date, end date, campaign status, and the optimization status. And we have received all these details of a new campaign, which we have created in Google Ads in our trigger response. So whenever we are going to create a new campaign in our Google Ads account, automatically the details of that campaign will be captured over here in this trigger window. And we will get all of these details. And from these responses, which we get from Google Ads, one by one, we are going to mention all of these details over here in this message, which we are going to send on Slack. And to add these details, we are going to map these data, these responses from Google Ads in the Slack step. So let's start with campaign name. Here from Google Ads, we have received the name of the campaign which we have given. So we have to basically map this response of campaign name over here in this text message field in front of campaign name. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in front of campaign name, just click here and from this drop down, here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Ads of a new campaign being created. And out of all of these responses, select this response of campaign name and map it over here. After this guys, whatever campaign name Google Ads is going to send us in our trigger window, a message with the same campaign name with the same campaign details will be sent on our Slack channel. After campaign name, let's start and map the start date of the campaign. 
Then let's map the end date of the campaign as well. Here it is from this drop down. Then we have to map the campaign status. So the status of this campaign right now is pause. So we are going to map it and the optimization status as well. So we have this optimization status that is optimized. So in this way, all the details of a new campaign, which we get in our trigger window from Google ads, one by one, you can map all of those details in this message field. After creating the message of your choice, the next thing it asks us is the image URL and image alt tags. So using this action of Slack, if you want, you can send some image on our Slack channel as a message as well. If you want to send an image, just enter the link of that image over here and the alternative text for that image over here. Right now in this video, we are not sending any kind of images, so we can ignore these two fields. Then it is asking us for the bot name and bot icon. So right now while connecting Slack with Pabli Connect, we have selected a user based connection. But just in case if you have selected a bot based connection, in that case, you can actually mention the name of the bot. And also if you want, you can change the icon of the bot as well, who is going to send the message on our Slack channel. So in this way, you can enter the name of the bot and bot icon over here according to your choice if you have selected bot based connection. Then it is asking us auto expand link, link username and channel name, reply broadcast and thread message ID. So all of these fields are not mandatory, not required. So we can ignore these fields for now. If you want to make changes in any of these fields, you can actually read the help text and refer to that for making the changes. And after all of this, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here in the section, this message with all the details of the new campaign, which we have created in Google ads has been sent as a message on our Slack channel. So let's check it. We will go to a Slack channel and yes, here you can see that just now a new message has been sent on Slack. The message says, hello team, we have created a new campaign in Google ads. And here you can see the same campaign details the exact same campaign details, which we have just now created few minutes ago in our Google ads account. This means the automation workflow, which we have created between Google ads and Slack using public connect is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we create a new campaign in our Google ads account, automatically within 10 minutes, public connect will capture the details of those newly created campaigns. It will get the data and using this automation, we can send those campaign details as a message on our Slack channel. And it basically takes 10 minutes of time to capture the data of new campaign from Google ads because the connection of Google ads and public connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, public connect will check for new data in our Google ads account every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, public connect will check for data. And if we have created any new campaign over there, it will get those details and this automation workflow will trigger. So here guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone this same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.